Hello, my name is Sally Gimmon, and I am the owner of the TrustIsYou.com and a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains. The reason I do these lives is because I, so many people have never heard of the Spendthrift Trust. In the United States, 97% of all the trusts here are only called a family trust. This is what CPAs, financial advisors, and attorneys only sell the family trust that um, only avoids going through probate, and then they dissolve. My mom and dad had this, and that's what Susie Orman talks about on PBS television. This is not your mom and dad's trust. This trust is legal. It's patented. It's in the IRS tax code 643B, like Bravo, and has been in front of the U.S. Supreme Court two, twice, and both times the Supreme Court has honored in favor of the Spendthrift Trust. You can't get much more legal than this Spendthrift Trust. So a little bit of history about the trust so everyone knows this. Way back when King Henry VIII started the Church of England, because he got in trouble for chopping off his wives' heads, um, he started the Church of England and went to go tax the lords and ladies of England to pay for his church. The lords and ladies of England went even further back into history to the Magna Carta and said, no, 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 King Henry, you can't do this. Now, I'm not giving you dates because I transpose numbers. I'm dyslexic. You can Google this. So this trust is contract law, comes from England. It came over uh, when we were still a colony of England. The law firm I work on behalf of, it's a private law firm that has the patent on this trust. Patent, this is important. But the law firm I work on behalf of has a trust that they've inherited that's turning 350 years old in 2023 before we became the United States. Now people say, oh, no, 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 you can't do this. Most people do not realize the IRS tax code was only started in 1913 when we were getting into the uh, First World War. This trust is older than the U.S. tax codes. Trust me, the Rockefellers, U.S. presidents, and other ultimate rich people know about the Spendthrift Trust. My goal is to teach it to as many people as possible to see if it's what they uh, if they need this to start saving money. If you go out to my website, thetrustisyou.com, I have a free training, an 18-minute video that goes over all this information so you can find out if you need it. But I want to do this live. So I do break up the Spendthrift Trust into two categories, the Business Trust and the Beneficial Trust. Both trusts are going to save you federal taxes. Everybody wants to save federal taxes. It's going to keep your information 100% private. Those of you who have LLCs, S-Corps, or C-Corp, your information is not private. That's statutory law, depending on di different states, and anyone can find out your information. And number three, it's going to keep you from paying any judgments if you get sued. I don't like using this, this example, but it explains things. Um, if y'all remember like 30 years ago when O.J. Simpson was put on trial for uh, uh, murdering his wife and Ron Goldman, he was acquitted, but the Goldmans sued him for $135 million. Well, O.J. Simpson has one of these trusts. All his football memorabilia, all his uh, money from commercials, from movies, everything else is are in the Spendthrift Trust and the Goldbergs can't collect any money off of him. What they do, what, what happens is you can't sue the Spendthrift Trust. You can only sue the individual. So the old adage from Nelson Rockefeller, own nothing, control everything. Uh, that, that's what's happening there. So again, legal, patented in the IRS tax code 643B. When you do file your taxes, your federal taxes, you're going to file a 1041 not a 1040. Almost 90% of Americans file a 1040 tax return. This is going to be a 1041 tax return. Well, then also, uh, if you get everything into the trust, you don't have to file state taxes. So those of you who are in New York, uh, Illinois, or California with high state taxes could save you even more money than what you thought of. And you can close down all your LLCs, S-Corps, and C-Corps. So going back to how I split it. There's the business trust for 1099 income earners, uh, and then there's the beneficial trust for uh, investors. Now, going with the business trust, if you have a business trust, you're going to save at least, at least 70% on your federal taxes year after year after year after year. 
depending on how what all you put into the trust and what you're working with, I have clients saving over 94% on their federal taxes. That's a lot of money for some people. So if you're a 1099 income earner, maybe you're an affiliate marketer, an MLM marketer, maybe you're a real estate agent, maybe you have a brick and mortar store, maybe you are a salesperson. If you're making 1099 income, I'm going to be honest, you should be making at least $70,000 a year. Um, it's going to be depend on your tax bracket. It's between 10% to 37%. Do, 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 do. Uh, whatever your tax bracket is, you could be saving this money year after year after year. That's the business trust. The beneficial trust, this is for investors. I don't care if you're a passive investor, if you are a real estate investor, you're a crypto investor, crypto miner, your uh, dividend income, options trading, day trading, futures trading, if you have short-term rental or long-term rentals, or if you have royalties, you're an actor, an actress, a songwriter, an author, or in the NFT world, NFT real estate, NFT crypto, or NFT artwork. Those are royalties. So with the Beneficial Spendthrift Trust, capital gains short-term currently are 23.8% on any of your profits. I do auction houses, wholesale houses, fix and flips. There is passed legislation back in November of 2021. Uh, two huge bills went through Congress. In one of the bills, there's two lines there that says people who are making more than $300,000 a year, their short-term capital gains are going to go up to 40%. Yikes. So they need this spendthrift trust. So short-term capital gains a year or less, 23.8% now. Long-term capital gains more than a year are either 15% or 20%. There's a reason I work with business brokers because many people who don't know that when they sell any kind of business, I don't care if it's an Amazon store, if it's a car wash or a restaurant, you're going to pay either 15% or 20%. You're going to minus out the original cost of the restaurant and, uh, restaurant, and then the rest of it will get taxed as capital gains. I just helped a 69-year-old gentleman who's retiring. He sold a 42-year-old restaurant. He saved at 15%, $460,000. And at uh, 20%, he saved $600,000. Think of what that does for his retirement. Think of what happens if his wife or he gets sick or does something. There's going to be money to help them through their retirement. That, that's long-term capital gains. Uh, passive, in, uh, passive investors. If you are um, in a REIT, if you are doing the Burr strategy, I have 12 notes. If you're a Forex investor, ooh, Forex investors, bad news for you. You get taxed twice. You get tax interest income and capital gains. You need the Spendthrift Trust because it'll, it'll uh, take care of both those taxes. Uh, interest income, dividend income. If you are uh, holding stocks with dividends, if you're doing options trading, day trading, futures trading, you're going to save money uh, with the uh, Spendthrift Trust. You'll never pay dividend income again. Rental income, short-term rental, Airbnb, Verbo, traveling nurses or students, and then long-term rental. Maybe you have 10 single-family home doors. Maybe you have 20 single-family home doors or you're in multi-family home doors. Yes, you can take depreciation. That's you know When you're in the Spendthrift Trust, that does not go away. But the big thing, because you, you're the landlord, what if someone's dog gets out and bites the mailman or a kid? That's liability. You won't have to pay any judgments if you get sued. Huge, huge bonus if you uh, have rental income. Uh, finally, royalties. Um, you, I don't care what you're doing with royalties. I have an NFT artist who is making doing a series of pictures, 1 through 100, and saving tons of money with that. Now, with interest income, dividend income, and rental income, your tax bracket. I don't know what your tax bracket is. You'll tell me. It's between 10% to 37% every single year on your profits. This is what you'll save year after year after year. With royalties, that's a little bit less. It's between 10% to 35%. Again, you're going to save that on any of your profits year after year after year. Personally, so y'all know the story, I found out about the Spendthrift Trust um, back in July of 2020. I took down the deal of the week. It was a bank-owned reverse mortgage, 
It was a contract. I paid $20,000 for it and it was going to go to auction for $50,000. Yay, Sally. Woohoo. I'm going to make $30,000 without having to do any uh, uh, fix and flip. I can't hammer a nail street for the life of me. So I was going to make $30,000, but the problem was July 2020, it's the middle of COVID. It took 13 months for the court system to open up again. And I went back at my national real estate group. I was living in Phoenix. My national real estate group, there's a gentleman named Garrett Gunderson. He wrote a book called What the Rockefellers Do. It's now called What the Billionaires uh, what, yeah, what the Billionaires Do. But I went through the book and I started Googling. My background, I'm competitive intelligence. I started researching everything. I found the private law firm that has the patent on this trust. I became their client and I started teaching this in my real estate group in Phoenix. When finally the house went to auction, uh, auction August 28th, 2021, it started at 50000 and went all the way up to over $64,000. Yay, Sally, I'm making money. Over $44,000 on that one deal. But more importantly, that one deal saved me $10,550. That's a lot of money. I've done a lot more real estate since that uh, that one house. Um, I moved to North Carolina to do an interesting real estate thing here. And I'm saving interest income on my notes. I'm saving short-term capital gains on wholesaling uh, auction houses. I'm saving dividend income because a friend of mine does my options trading for me. I know how to do options trading, but I lose sleep over it. So I'm saving money that way. I also run three online businesses, one Sally Soul Silver, woohoo. Uh, if you like silver coins being delivered to you every month, um, you can either be a consumer or you can be an affiliate marketer. I make the, 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 my three businesses go through the business trust. Again, I am not anti-American. The first page of the IRS says it's up to each individual to figure out how to uh, pay as little in taxes as possible. I found out about the Spendthrift Trust. Now, I'm going to probably get a cease and desist letter, but I do want to tell you the story. I have a recording of Grant Cardone, who is a major real estate guru. He's on a recording saying he doesn't want people to know about this trust because he wants to be able to keep something private. And let's say you, in your hometown, you're looking at a possible real estate deal and it's a little bit skinny. Maybe you're only going to make 8% in your wobbling, saying, hmm, I don't know if I want to do this real estate deal for 8%. Grant Cardone can sweep in, do the real estate deal. Uh, let's say he's going to uh, fix and flip it or he's going to wholesale it. And then he's going to save the 8% plus the 23.8%. Uh, 23 so he's going to save over 30% return on investment. Um, he does sell this trust uh, in, in, to the people who pay him $100,000 a year. I know you're asking, so I will be honest and upfront. One trust, either the business trust or the beneficial trust, is twenty thousand five hundred. Comes with an entire team behind it to help you transition into the trust. And then, if you want both the business trust and the beneficial trust, I have over one hundred and twenty clients. Only about six of us have both. So some some people only go with one or the other. But if you want both trusts, it's thirty seven thousand dollars upfront. You can get the second trust six months later a year later, or four years later, or never get the second trust if you don't need it. So again, my name is Sally Gimmon. You can find me on all the uh, uh, social media places. My website, thetrustisyou.com, has free 18-minute education going over the slide deck so you, you can learn more about that and sit, then set an appointment with me. And then I have only 25 episodes out so far, but stop paying capital gains now. If I can help you save money on your federal taxes legally, please reach out to me because if I can do it, y'all can do it. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.